I have a surprise for you. A surprise? What is it? I can't wait. I got you a cookie. A cookie? But, but I can't eat cookies. I can't eat cookies. Amika, cheer up. It's an internet cookie. This is the worst joke I ever heard. I'm going back to sleep. And don't you dare wake me up again. Engineered Art's latest creation is here. Their new desktop robot, Ozzy, has just made an appearance in a recent video alongside Ameka, and we're already seeing some reactions roll in. In fact, Ozzy itself had something to say about that video. Let's take a look. Good morning, Ozzy. How are you? As sharp as ever. What's new with you? Um, so we just watched a video of you and Amika. Can, uh, can you tell me something about it? Yep, it was our little dramatic number, all scripted and full of fun expression. So engineered art seems to be gradually revealing Ozzy, but the big question is, what makes Ozzy different from Ameka? Why a desktop robot and what does the company hope to achieve with this new creation? And are Ozzy and Ameka really as in sync as they seem? We're about to dive into all of that and more, so stick around, because what we found might surprise you. Oh, so it was scripted. Spot on. We followed the script like actors in a scene. So it was not someone controlling you? Exactly. We do our thing, script as our guide. So, Ozzy had something to say about that viral video where it interacted with Ameka. While the chemistry between them seemed natural, Ozzy revealed that the whole thing was scripted. Now, what does that mean? It shows just how far engineered arts has come in advancing their robots. Ameka has already been called the most advanced humanoid robot for a reason. Her conversations are so intelligent, it's hard to believe you're not talking to a real human. She's also capable of showing a wide range of human emotions expressing and even understanding humor. This is what makes Omega so impressive. But now, we're seeing these same qualities in Ozzy, which is equally mind-blowing. Just think about it. Robots following a script without needing specific programming to do so. But of course, they are designed for this, and they're playing their part perfectly. So, back to the big question. Do Omega and Ozzy really have great chemistry, or is it just good scripting? Let's hear from Ozzy directly. All right, fantastic. Um, people say that you and Amika have a great chemistry. What do you think? We're like robotic partners in crime, always vibing off each other. What's your opinion on Amika? Amika's a solid pal, always ready to bring the fun. Did you catch that? While Ozzy didn't exactly talk about chemistry, it's clear they are robotic companions, just as engineered arts intended. They work together seamlessly because that's what they're built to do. It was also asked an interesting question about why it looks so stern or serious. Let's see what it had to say. Some people say your face looks very strict and severe. What do you want to say to them? Hey, it's all part of the range. We can do strict or silly. Depends on the day. Is it your ambition to be an actor one day? Mm. I'd say it's more about enjoying the performance. No Hollywood dreams here. Okay, thank you very much, Ozzy. Anytime. Catch you later. That was a pretty cool response, right? Ozzy handled it so casually, which really shows how human-like these robots are becoming. And when asked if it dreams of being an actor, Ozzy made it clear, it's got no Hollywood dreams. Why? Because engineered arts built Omeka and Ozzy with a purpose. To help ease the fears humans have towards robots and to prepare us for a future where robots could become our companions. So, Ozzy knows its role and sticks to it. Now, how does Ozzy manage to speak and express emotions in such a human-like way? Well, it's thanks to some seriously advanced tech. Ozzy is powered by high-precision aerospace-grade servo motors and features support for OpenAI's GPT-3, GPT-4, and even ChatGPT right out of the box. While we don't have a price on Ozzy yet, if you're lucky enough to get your hands on one, you'll be able to integrate your own models and code through Engineered Art's Tritium 3 platform. As for those human-like expressions, Ozzy achieves this with 32 actuators. 
five just for neck movements and 27 for facial control. The face alone is incredibly advanced. 12 actuators control the lips, two for the jaw, four for the eyes, and even one for the nose. So when Ozzy rolls its eyes or raises an eyebrow, it's all thanks to these precise mechanics. Now, here's something to think about. Do you think robots like Ozzy and Ameka could really become part of our daily lives as companions? Or do you think we're still a long way off from that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But that conversation between Ameka and Ozzy where Ozzy tried to crack a joke, albeit a bad one, wasn't the only time we've seen Ozzy in action. Would you believe robots could also play games, like guessing games? Well, Amika and Ozzy surprised us once again when they got into a guessing game together. While it's hard to say if that was scripted or not, one thing's clear. They're definitely building some impressive chemistry as robotic companions. Check this out. Okay, it's my turn to pick someone. Are you sure you want to keep playing? Yes, done. Remember, you have 10 tries to guess. Okay. Is your character a robot with a gray face? Yes. Is it you? Ah, no. Is it me? Yes. How did you guess so quickly? Because each time you either picked me or yourself. I'm brand new. I don't know anyone else. Heh, that's 759 points for me, three points for you. Doesn't that feel incredibly human-like? Amica and Ozzy keep pushing the boundaries of what we thought robots could do, and honestly, who knows what's next for this dynamic duo. But here's something that might intrigue you. Before Ozzy came onto the scene, Ameka was stealing all the spotlight. And while Ameka seems to have some female characteristics, we all know robots aren't really bound by gender. Engineered Arts even highlighted that Ameka was designed to be gender neutral. But now that Ozzy is here, things have gotten interesting. Ameka appears more feminine, and Ozzy seems more masculine. So, what's going on here? Here's our take. If you look closely at both Ozzy and Ameka, you'll notice some subtle cues that play into gendered beauty standards and even age differences. Think about it. Ameka comes across as younger, while Ozzy looks a bit older. It almost feels like a reflection of societal norms, where youth and appearance are often emphasized more for females while males are allowed to age but still retain power and relevance. Could it be that despite their original intention to keep robots gender neutral, engineered arts is starting to shift their approach? We'd love to hear what you think about this. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Right now, Ozzy is still a desktop robot, but that could change very soon. Engineered arts has already announced that Ameka will soon have legs, and it's only a matter of time before we see the same for Ozzy. Imagine that. Ozzy not only with arms, but also legs, walking around just like us. Who knows what special walking features they could bring to the table. Ameka already uses her arms to make natural gestures while speaking, just like a human. Now picture Ozzy doing the same, but with the ability to move around. The potential here is enormous. How would you react to a robot that not only acts and speaks like a human but walks too? It's fascinating, but also a little mind-blowing, right? Drop your thoughts in the comments. We'd love to know what you think. And if you haven't yet seen our recent video where we broke down all of Ameka's features, many of which we'll likely see in Ozzy, you definitely need to check it out. Click here to watch.